So you guys wanted me to react to a loyalty test. Today we got one. Will she leave him for a Lamborghini or stay loyal? Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Um, yeah, let's let's find out. Today we are giving away this Lamborghini. The last person to take their hand off the car gets to keep it. Actually, no, they don't because we're filming a loyalty test. In the shape of a Lamborghini giveaway challenge though. Is Ben's girlfriend loyal or not? Today our friend Dorian will be helping him find out by asking her on a date. It's a win-win if I win the car and you. We've been arguing a lot back and forth. It's trust issues, I would say. I don't want him to get deep into something, get hurt, and then it distracts and music and stuff like that, so. In the past, we've actually placed Joan and his girlfriend to the loyalty test, but this time, the roles were reversed. You don't have to have your hand on it just yet. Oh, we're practicing. Yes, <laughs> we're practicing. Yep. What is there to practice? <laughs> the plan was for our friend Madeline to pretend to be the YouTuber that was giving away this gorgeous beast. <laughs> that is sick. Our friends were pretending to be competitors in the challenge alongside Ben and his girlfriend. Just got a text message from Joan and guys, he say ETA 905. It was Ben's job to bring his girlfriend to the challenge and when the time was right, Dorian would make his move and see if she would remain loyal. Exactly like he did in Jonan's test. Hey. All right. That sounds pretty cool. Catching gold diggers. Let's see. Let's see. Today's Will she video stay is brought loyal? to you by Ray Shadow Legend. Ray, I'm skipping this whole thing. Okay, guys. The other contestants are here. Oh, they're here. Jonan and the rest of the gang are here. Ben had arrived with his girlfriend, Taya. In order to make things more realistic, we also asked Jonan and another one of their friends to be a part of this quote-unquote challenge. For those of you who do not know me, I'm Madeline. Nice to meet you all. And hello, Hi, Madeline. friends. Hi. And hello, friends. Okay, so I'm going to record the intro really quickly. Hey, so after she says Lamborghini, everyone be like, yeah! <laughs> just literally just scream. Alrighty, so on today's episode, we are going to be giving away this Lamborghini, can you believe it? I'm excited. The person who keeps her hand on the Lamborghini the longest will walk away with it. Yeah. Yeah. And so with that, our fake Lamborghini challenge had officially begun. Dorian strategically set himself up next to Ben's girlfriend while Ben kept his distance. Now, if this challenge were real, I'm sure we'd be here for hours, but luckily we had a strategic way to shorten this thing up. We are gonna be eliminating someone in 20 minute segments. We've come up with an excuse for each of them to get out of there. My excuse for leaving is because I have pizza. For now, everyone just had to play it cool and go along with our fake challenge. Ken, what are you gonna do with the car? Um, I'm probably gonna sell it. Honestly, for me, it's gonna be a tax write-off. The reason I need this car is because I need a weekend car. You see my daily right over there? It's my daily. What? We should start moving. The challenge was in full swing and everything was going as planned. Ben's girlfriend was fully convinced that Madeline, a successful YouTuber, was giving away this Lambo thanks to her friends at Supercar Garage. But in reality, it was simply lent to us by its owner, Chris. This is a 2022 Lamborghini STL. This is one of approximately 2200 for the world. It's 640 That's horsepower, crazy. naturally aspirated V10. It's the star of my YouTube channel. If you subscribe every month, we're gonna pick one subscriber and have a night out with the boys. That, we have someone cool. who has to leave. Fortunately, yes. Yeah. Where do you have to go? I have to go pick up my brother. Go pick up yeah. brother. Yeah. Yeah. You have a Lamborghini on the line. I know, but with this Lamborghini, you could buy yourself a brand new brother. You could buy yourself a brand new brother. <laughs> that is very true. No, yeah. I can't do that. I'm, I'm That's a so valid invested, point. Even though I know what's gonna happen. Go get your brother. Yeah, go get your brother. Go get your brother. Go get your brother. Yeah. Yeah. And just like that, our first contestant was eliminated. Bye. Bye. Thank you for coming. Everyone keep your hands on the prize. So now I will be ordering some pizza because that's going to be how we're going to get someone else out. Hi. Thanks for calling Domino's. Nothing is better together than Domino's Pizza and Co. I'm kind of stressing out because I got this conference call a little bit. But is it worth more than a Lamborghini? I might take the conference call here while well, I'm on the well, I don't know. Right. Can do that. Not. Because it'll mess with our audio. Get fired or uh, get a Lambo. Muba may or may not have to leave. All right, Muba, make your decision. Are you going to take your conference call or are you going to stay in the challenge? Oh! So the pizza's on his way. Muba went to his conference call. I'm so fucking hungry. How are we doing on storage? I'm running a little bit low, but we're good for right now. I want to offer you guys $1,000 to skedaddle. Ken? I think I need the Lamborghini. This is some Mr. Beast type stuff. Okay. So I'm gonna stick around. Oh, fuck. Imagine Taya's the one who takes it. No. Come here, the prices. Oh, so she said 
Nay. What about you? Don't ask me. Oh, you guys can literally be here for like eight plus hours. I ain't even gonna cap. I gotta use the restroom too. That thousand looking real nice. Ooh. I'm gonna have to do it, bro. Yeah? Oh. Oh. Go ahead and go inside. There's snacks. It's nice and warm. Damn, imagine this for real. The man traded a Lamborghini for a thousand dollars. Y'all wasting y'all time. The challenge? I think for this challenge, I'm gonna go for this guy right here. Not because it's scripted or anything. It continued, and 20 minutes later, Madeline tickled Ken out of the competition. Oh! <laughs> Getting tickled is your weakness? Not long after Ken's departure, the pizza had finally arrived. You smell that, y'all? Do we have a weak link? So hungry. Take the pizza. Okay, I'm so oh, No way! I can never be that hungry. Imani ends up giving up the Lamborghini for a slice of pizza. Oh my god, this is like the shortest keep your hand on the Lamborghini challenge ever. A while later, Madeline ended up eliminating Loris by nut checking him. Hey, you're good. Hey. Wait, who? Who? Uh, eliminating who? A while later, Madeline ended up eliminating Loris by nut checking him. Hey, you're good. Hey, and last but not least, all that was getting somebody out for nut checking is, is crazy. What's left to do was eliminate. Ben based off a of technicality. But before that happened, this ended up playing out. Oh, looking good, looking happened? good. Oh, your girlfriend's right there. I was nothing, but... Oh, so I'm not cute? No, you are, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> or can you? This was actually pretty crazy, and I had no idea that it happened. I guess Madeline picked up on Ben sounding a little sus here and decided to conduct a loyalty test of her own. Oh, you guys mm. have like a little open thing going on. No, no, not there. Is it cheating if verbal cheating? I'm getting that. I'm a low man. Oh? Yeah, I stay low. You stay low? So you wouldn't want to? No, definitely not. You asking me low? I'm asking you out. What's up? Uh, can't do that. Can't no? Hell no. Did, what'd you say? She's right there. So if she wasn't no, right there. I'm just saying, like, I mean, have some respect. Yeah, exactly. No, but it, for real, for real. For real? Yeah. Sorry, I've been here for a minute now. I can't do that. All right, I respect I don't that. Pull that easy. I like I don't that. Pull you better keep that up, cause I'm a player. Oh, you are. I'm a all right well now now the girlfriend sees that her boyfriend's a loyal dude so is she gonna stay loyal who knows this was not a part of the plan but madeline just pulled a test within a test honestly ben did sound a little sus here oh so i'm not cute no you are but you know he's a guy one. maybe That's we'll true. have to test him sometime in the future though because he obviously knew the cameras <laughs> were there anyways let's fast forward and get back to kicking him out based on that technicality see right there Hot red hand. Ben was being kicked out because he supposedly lifted his hand off the car. Hell yeah. Well, he got out. Woo! I'm not gonna lie, I, I'm kind of glad you got out. because. Let's go, now it's just her and him. He better win, bro. Come on, man, you got this. That just made it a lot easier for me. I thought he would be here longer than you would. Finally, two and a half hours later, our plan was complete and we had Dorian and Taya by themselves. You guys are hungry, huh? I know, I'm starving. I mean, you guys can eat with one hand, right? If I give you guys pizza? Of course. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna have the cameras. Pizza you sounds guys very good inside. right now. You guys gotta keep each other accountable, though. I'll bring you guys pizza. Cameras are gonna come inside with me. We're gonna change out the SD cards and the batteries. I'll be back right now with your guys' food. Dorian was about to make his move, but we first had to make Ben's girlfriends believe that she wasn't being watched or recorded. So we killed all the cameras, except for the hidden one upstairs and the hidden one in the car. Mm. All right, Ben, what you think? Right. You think she's gonna pass? How you feeling, man? I don't know, I'm a little nervous. We've been arguing the last couple of days. But yeah, uh, their situation and stuff, arguing and stuff, is kind of making me think she's gonna fail. But I don't know. Toxic relationships aren't aren't the way. Given my parents do the same thing every single day, they need to be broke. <laughs> they need to break up. I don't know. She seems kind of into him. I'm not gonna lie. Oh my god, I didn't know there was another angle. You, you didn't know about this angle? No. <laughs> <laughs> you slick with a little one finger. Okay, don't let that finger come up now. I'm quick to tell them. As a matter of fact, where they at with the cameras? Where they at? Hey! I'm gonna tell if you don't vlog. Play with it. Play with it. Why would you want two Lambos when you already have one? Because. You waste, what, like three hours of your life now? I want a second one. Well, what if I want it? <laughs> I'll let you drive it every now and then. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's a Scorpio on me, I guess. Ew, I don't know what to say. I hate Scorpio. Scorpio man. gang. I hate Scorpio then. Scorpio's on the. It's crazy how people actually believe in the astrology stuff. I mean, I used to, but, but what determines on who a person really is is the stuff that they grow up around in, you know, them themselves. So me being born in January, I think would make me a Capricorn. 
So like they have like a certain personality. Well, what if I'm not that? You know, because I I've met uh, I've met some people that were different signs, and they were some were not were not what the sign was described to be. I don't know the the whole astrology stuff is kind of dumb because the month you're born in doesn't give you your personality. <laughs> if I'm saying that correctly, I don't know. Best. I don't, no, I don't know. What do, where do you? What do you? Aries. I don't know when that is. When is it Aries? April. Oh. Did Dorian just blow it by saying he's a Scorpio? He hey, for some people, that's a deal breaker. I definitely need this car. This one has like 700 horsepower. Mine has like 500. There's no need for two. We can share. If you just lift your hand up just a little right now, we can make a little, what is that called? We can sign a little document, okay? I get the car in the weekdays. Get the car on the weekend. What is this? Uh, oh, oh. oh you, can, you can show off on the weekends. Do what you need to do. Weekdays. I taste the part of like work. Yeah. yeah. What is this? So what are we right? co parenting with the fucking car now? Yeah. I mean, wouldn't it just be easier to mean you like both mean the same Lambo? You know, you could ride in here with me. Maybe. Maybe. Mm. I mean, that like, didn't sound like good. I said earlier, it's a win win if I win the car and you. Mm. I'm not trying to, you know, sound like dickheadish or like, you know, mean or anything, but you didn't notice how your boyfriend was out here openly flirting earlier? You did, because you did say something about yeah, that. Yeah, no, I did say something. I wasn't flirting with nowhere. I wasn't flirting, right? Was I flirting? Yeah. I was joking, bro. She take two things, she take things too little. <laughs> Why? Okay. Why are you bringing that up? I, I, I just didn't know what the vibes really were because you know, he was there flirting. You were kind of, not saying full on, but you were kind of flirting with me. What if I was just joking about that though? And you were joking, but what if you weren't? What if it was? But that's the thing, you're saying what if, right? Just a little friendly fire. Oh, a little friendly fire? A little friendly fire. A little friendly fire, how friendly is that fire? Not that friendly. Not that friendly? That's how I like it though. I don't like it too friendly. I'll tell you. I'm, just, I'm gonna just be realistic, I'm just be like, up front. I really don't even know you like that, but I'm just saying, like, I find you real pretty, mad attractive. And I just wanted to see if it was like any way that I mean you could just like, I'm not saying leave your man right now or anything like that, but I'm just, I just want to get to like know you a little better. So you want me to like sneak behind his back and like us talk? I don't know what y'all, like how y'all really do it or how, like how you got it going on. Cause I already saw the like, you know, like I said, the open flirting. So I don't know if that's something that you guys like really do like that, but I'm open to it if you are. Let's see. No. No? I'm gonna pass on that. I can respect that. All right, here we go. Yeah. Okay. Yep. I'm just saying that it, it's just, it's just one well. of those things that I just have to really be upfront about, you know? Yeah. Just had to be upfront about it, but you know what? I really respect that though, like. Oh, Let's go. Oh. So that she was passed. it. Taya rejected Dorian with ease. I'm glad she did, but honestly, I kind of feel like this ended too quickly. I feel like Dorian could have applied more pressure. Like I was expecting him to say something like, I'll take my hand off the slambo if you go on a date with me. But he didn't even like ask for her number. Now in his defense, maybe he felt like he didn't have much time or maybe this whole scenario wasn't the best for him to apply that pressure. But if he would have at least gotten her number, we would have called off this slambo challenge due to camera issues. And then we could have figured out a face two where he would have more time and more privacy to make his move. It sounds awful, I know, and it's not like I wanted her to fail. I'm very glad she passed. I guess I just like to thoroughly and fairly conduct these tests. That's it. Even though you were flirting, she stayed. I wasn't even flirting. Yeah. I wasn't even flirting though. Come on. At this point though, the test was over and Ben had decided to come clean to his girlfriend. So grab them talkies because you see. guys already know. Yeah, you already know. This, this shit's, shit's gonna gone. be good. <laughs> yeah, let's see. Now let's see. When he comes out, is she gonna be pissed? She she passed it. That's awesome. But is she gonna be alright that she just took a loyalty test? Let's see. The music is <laughs> is gonna say shit's gonna go go wrong. But let's see. What's up? That's good, that's good. How y'all doing? Chilling, ready to win this. So what's this? A test. For what? Loyalty. You passed it, so congrats. Test what? A loyalty test. Loyalty test for what? I thought we were doing a challenge. Technically, yeah. It was on you. You passed. <laughs> <laughs> hey. I mean, hey, 
Hey. 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 So, Teo, so this entire thing was basically all a test. Ben wanted to place you to a test to see if you would remain loyal to him. So we had Dorian right over here ask you on a date. And the way we set that up was by making you believe that you were competing for this Lamborghini right here. So I just stood out in the cold for no reason. <laughs> for a reason. Mostly. Because, I mean, to be honest, I had some issues with trust lately, but, but you know, I feel like this was needed to keep the relationship intact. Are you just doing this test because you're doing stuff? Yeah, she's not. She, she's not fine with it. She isn't. Behind my back? Definitely not. Mm -hmm. That's that's not right. What? No. Really. And why are you guys in on this? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> it was them. No, no. no that, what? Hey, hey she, hey, she, she, she wants hey, to look I just want to, I just want to look out for my homie because he looked out for me. My girl, she ended up not passing. But <laughs> why would you even think I would do something like that? <sighs> you know, you. Just, because what happened to me, I just don't want to yeah, But we're not like your relationship. Well, well, now I see that. Now I see that. Oh, now really? I see that. It took I, you I a, a little I'm fake not, challenge to figure you that passed. out. You passed. You passed. Hey, congrats. Hey, you don't got to get mad at me. You don't got to get mad at me. Well, I will deal with him later. Ooh. That Ooh. doesn't need to be on camera. That's just ridiculous. So really what if I did this to you? What if I tested I, I'd you? I'd probably laugh, to be honest. You would I'd probably laugh. Yeah, oh, for sure I'd pass. Okay. I just don't get why he would do a little trick like this, but. If I were, if the day would ever come and they would put me up to a loyalty test, I guess I'd kind of feel bad because that just shows the lack of trust. Cause for a relationship to work, you need, you need to trust each other. If there's no trust, then there's no relationship. Uh, why couldn't you even just ask me? That's a good point. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Next couple days might be a little rough, but we'll get over it for sure, right? Right? Sure. Sure? Maybe. You're still mad at me? Hug it out. <laughs> Hug yeah, it out. <laughs> really no car though? <laughs> <laughs> Just did all that for no reason. Since the making of this video, Ben and Tara no Aw oh, man. Well that sucks. Go 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 subscribe to uh UD. I think that's how you say say the name. I don't know. They make fun videos. They do a whole bunch of loyalty stuff. So, you guys go subscribe. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. And if you guys want to see my videos a day early, then subscribe to my Patreon. But yeah, I, I hope you guys have a good day. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye <laughs>